New York Fashion Week, Paris Hilton and nine other talking points. New York Fashion Week is drawing to a close. The U.S. event is the first of February's four big international fashion weeks, which are also held in London, Paris, and Milan. It usually features a heady mix of supermodels, front rows peppered with celebrities and political controversy. Before the style set descends on London, it's time to look back at what we've learned from the U.S. style capital. 1. It packed a political punch. Tom Ford showed his serious side, kicking off Niff with a show that expressed his feelings about President Trump's proposed border wall. Ford's diverse selection of models paraded down the catwalk to the strains of crowded houses Don't Dream It's Over, notable for the pointed lyrics, They come, they come to build a wall between us. We know they won't win. The show was held just a day after Trump's State of the Union address. If the nuance of the timing and the song's lyrics managed to escape anyone, Ford confirmed to Vogue that the choice was no coincidence. 2. There were attempts to embrace technology. Designer Christian Siriano teamed up with software company SAP to unveil an app that turned his catwalk into fashion's answer to the X Factor. Viewers in the audience and at home were given a chance to like or love various outfits as models walked down the runway. The theme of Siriano's show was futuristic glam, meaning the tech innovations suited the show nicely. Elsewhere, Label Rag and Bone continued their departure from traditional fashion shows by using artificial intelligence to help bring attention to their collection. They described their show, called Day Last Supper, as an experiential event. It was in fact a dinner party where the guests, of course, were wearing new season rag and bone. An artificial intelligence machine was also at the table, where it talked and learned through the night, before making an after-dinner speech. 3. A transgender designer made history. Pierre Davis became the first transgender designer to show at New York Fashion Week. The LA-based designer's label No Sesso, which means no sex in Italian, was founded in 2015. It creates creates gender-neutral, inclusive clothing for a range of body types. The label said on Instagram that they were humbled by the overwhelming love and response we received. 4. Paris Hilton had a fashion moment. DJ and former reality TV show star Paris Hilton is usually seen on the Fashion Week front rows, but on Tuesday she took to the catwalk. Hilton wore a silver bodysuit, huge necklace and sparkly ankle boots for label the blondes. The 37-year-old, who's the great-granddaughter of the founder of Hilton Hotels, later confirmed on social media that she really is living her best life this niffle. 5. Some of Fashion Week's biggest hitters were missing. Few of the big-name designers who usually show their collections in New York were absent this time, leaving room for young, innovative designers like Batsheva Hay and Telford Clemens to step into the limelight. Calvin Klein decided not to attend, after losing head designer Raph Simons in November. Rodart showed in the warmer climes of Los Angeles instead and Victoria Beckham is saving her show for London. There was a notable absence in the front row too. For the first time in 25 years, Elle's editor Nina Garcia had to miss Niffle. She announced on social media that she's recovering from a double mastectomy. 6. A Japanese costume designer stole the show. It's not often that a designer's first fashion week show gets as much high past a Mokoizumi's did. The Japanese designer who has dressed Katy Perry and Asian pop star Miwa Yoshida, is known for his huge dresses. He staged his first New York show at the Marc Jacobs shop with the help of fashion journalist Katie Grand, who found Koizumi on Instagram. Game of Thrones star Gwendoline Christie and models Bella Hadid and Emily Ray Tachkowski showcased the vibrant, multicolored designs, which looked like fluffy marshmallows. 7. It was a 90s staple and now Satin is making a comeback. For those pining for the days when Kate Beckinsale and Alicia Silverstone were the only fashion icons that mattered, you're in luck, because Satin is fashionable again. 
as seen in the shows of Prabal Garang, Jonathan Simkai, Brandon Maxwell, and Dion Lee, the silky fabric was used in a number of eye-popping colors and designs. It cropped up on the catwalks of New York in many different variations, as part of a looks red velvet suit at Tom Ford or in the form of printed day dresses and skirts at Tory Burch. So it might just be time to raid your loft for some fashion-forward inspiration. 8. The high ponytail is dead. Long live the low ponytail. Not only does Fashion Week dictate what you're going to be wearing next season, it also shows you how you'll be wearing your hair. So next time you reach for a bobble to put your hair up, keep that ponytail low. As seen at Ralph Lauren, Badgley Miska, and Cushiony, the ponytail got a makeover, with a slick, shiny finish to boot. The change from the high ponytail, as popularized by Ariana Grande and Kim Kardashian, was led by GHD and Trisimi hair stylist Justine Margin. So you can thank her for all the headaches you'll no longer have to endure. 9. There were efforts to make the catwalk more inclusive. Luxury online retailer Eleven Honor proved that plus-sized fashion does have a place on the catwalk during their first New York Fashion Week show. It featured models including Transgender Orange is the new black actress Laverne Cox, and displayed designs from the biggest names in fashion. More than 30 looks from designers such as Christopher Kane, Mark Jacobs, Zach Posen and Roland Moore were featured in UK sizes 1424, making it possibly the most inclusive NIF show yet. Elsewhere, swimwear designer Chromat, founded by Beckham Garen Tran, used models of diverse sizes, genders and races to champion body diversity. The models wore a range of bold and colorful designs, to try and show that everyone has a beach body. 10. Cozy, colorful coats ruled off stage. With so many fashionistas flocking to the shows, the street style on display at NIF can often be just as influential as the outfits on the catwalks. As the U.S. event is usually held in sub-zero temperatures, it's no surprise that warm winter coats were the prevailing trend for people going to the shows. There was a common theme to the outerwear rocked by this year's attendees though, with lots of people opting for bright coats in pinks and purples.